guys, it's Anna Slash from MonthForPassLoan.com and I'm going to be teaching you how to make a tea light snowman. How cute is this? So if you would like to learn how to make this, stay tuned. So I suggest first um, taking your Sharpie or alcohol based marker and coloring the flame piece first. You don't have to color this flame piece if you don't want to. It's just when it's not on it looks kind of weird because it's a blank color. So and since we're making a snowman he has a orange nose so just go ahead and color that all in. Now that that is colored, so it's a solid orange color, like a carrot nose, and it's kind of funny how it sticks out, it like peeks up at the top. It's perfect for snowman's nose. So now we're going to cut out our circle punches. This one is going to be his hat. So you can use a patterned one or a straight colored one. And then this white one, which is just a different pattern on the back. Like I said, these are just spare pieces of paper that I didn't want to get rid of. So that one will be his face. So I'm just going to take another punch. Um, you don't have to take another punch, you can just cut it out. But it just makes it easier, in my opinion, to just punch a hole as close in the center as you can. Wow, that's a little bit off, but that's okay, no problem. We're going to cut some little slits, so try and follow this as much as possible. If you have the perfect size punch to go around the, the middle flame part of the light, then that might be perfect for you, but I don't have that, so I'm just working with what I have. So I'm just cutting some little small slits there so I can fold it under. So I'm going to place this on this way first so it will force all those pieces. See how it forced all those little pieces upwards? So now I'm going to carefully take this off without ripping the paper. See how it forced all those pieces backwards, for the most part anyways? It's gonna take my Sharpie, force all these pieces back. So now all those little pieces are back. Like I said, if you have the perfect size punch to go around the flame of this, that might be perfect for you, but I'm just working with what I have, and it works out fine. Okay, so now all those pieces are back. I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue this piece down onto the white part. All right, so my hot glue is now on, on the actual candle part, and I'm going to see which way that the flame goes. I'm just going to place it in the spot that I want it to be. And just make sure it's pressed down all the way. It doesn't matter, like I said before about the pattern, you're not going to see it like it's at the back. Okay, so now all this is pressed down. I'm going to go ahead and take my scissors and choose what shape of my hat I want. You don't want to like stick it behind it or up above it. Maybe you could make like a full bodied snowman, but that's not what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and cut a straight line across, maybe about that much off. So I'm having a nice fluffy hat. So his hat is now on. He's really fluffy. I'm going to go ahead and stick his eyes and mouth on using my gems. 
So I think that's going to be his little mouth for now. If you had like pink gems, maybe you could add like little pink um, cheeks or something if you really wanted. So now I'm going to take my trim and I'm going to, I think, double up on the fluff around his hat. You can just glue it on too. And you don't have to use like this kind of stuff. You can use um, pipe cleaners if you want. So it's very versatile to what you have on hand. <sighs> Fluffy! And now we're going to, you can use a pom-pom if you want on the top of his hat, but I'm just going to knot up some of this stuff. All right, so here's my pom-pom. I'm gonna go ahead and glue that on the top of his hat so you can have a really puffy pom-pom. There's his big puffy pom-pom. We're gonna make him a fluffy matching scarf. So we're just going to wrap around the outside of Mr. Snowman. Okay, you can see how it's getting fluffy. You wanna make sure how one of your, um, what do you call this? One of your yarns is going one way and one is going the other way. And then when you get to the fluffiness that you like, tie a couple knots. And then cut the length of this, because mine is very long, to the length that you prefer. And now we have a super cute snowman tea light. And just his switch is on the back. And he lights up, he's so cute. So let's turn the lights off and see what it looks like. It's so cute. So, that's it. That's how you make your own snowman tea light. If you like this video, hit the like button, thumbs up below. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, all that stuff. If you happen to make your own tea light snowman, tag me as Pastel Bun Bun on all social networking, basically. Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, etc, etc. And I hope you guys have a great holiday season. Merry, happy Christmas, Hanukkah, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Whoosh.